So we left off on creating this basic shape for um, this particular car here. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to box model uh, this fender here. So in order to start this, I'm going to create a cube. And instead of going the, that regular standard way we did before, what I'm going to do is whoop, create the cube and then just make sure that drag it out. And from here, you can switch to vertex mode and start to sort of just shape out this um, shape. So I'm going to keep these relatively equal and go ahead and begin this process. And this one here and then here. And that should be good enough to start this. So from here I'm going to select this face I'm going to extrude out and just sort of scale and move into place. Now, from here, Just continue this process all the way through. And um, if you're just learning, don't be uh, shy about adding too much geometry. It's not a big deal. You can always take get rid of it easily um, as you continue this model. And it's not uh, anything to be concerned about. Um, just as long as you get something that starts to resemble The shape you're trying to create and so far I'm just going ahead and modeling this all the way through using this box modeling technique no tricks just extrude scale move into place um, adding geometry where needed. Um, I don't need like a bajillion edge loops around here, but enough to imply um, the shape well enough uh, so we can uh, visually see it better. Um, and once we get this all set, we will Later on, I'll show you some tricks to get it to look uh, really nice and smoothed out. And um, we're going to start at this lower topology and work our way uh, to higher topology. Okay. Now, I've got the start of this fender. And what I'm going to do with this is make sure I put it into place. And then if I hit 3, you'll see 
um, I'm getting some, uh, it's a, a, a little bit slightly smaller than I want. Um, so that's that uh, as far as the actual shape. Um, and I could add more geometry to it, which I would like to do. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to add one edge loop straight down the center here. And I'm going to select this multi-cut tool. And OK, thank you for sharing. Um, I'm going to select the multi-cut tool. And I'm going to hold Control. And that's going to give me nice, clean edge loop. And now it just goes ahead, adds that in, hold control, and then click. Um, you'll know right away if your geometry is not right because it won't do a nice, clean edge loop like that. And now you're going to see, um, I'm going to smooth it out, and it's going to be uh, a little bit better um, around those edges. And you'll see it starts to round itself out for you pretty much. And that's in smooth mode. So enter one mode again. And this is in one mode. And here's the base shape of this car. Okay. And now I've got the uh, fender. So I can go ahead and name this L fender mesh. And this could be like uh, the body of the car. So body mesh or uh, car mesh, whatever you want to call it. So I've got L fender for L being um, left and then the car mesh itself being the, the center. So now I've got both of these. Um, it's starting to turn out pretty good. A um, couple things I would like to do. I'm going to add one more edge loop here just to show you. And um, that was like no problem at all. Really simple. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to just uh, end it on that note on this particular video because I will get into more details as far as how to um, do some of the, the cut in the headlight here. Um, we like that. And then uh, we'll get into doing some things into uh, getting the seat of the car in there and how to get, um, I don't know, everything that you need. So that's that um and yeah thank you for watching